Hello, I'm Bernard Hickey from interest.co.nz and welcome to 90 at 9, brought to you in association with ASB. This is your morning briefing where you get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock, starting now with news of green shoots in the global economy. In China, the World Bank is forecasting 7.2% GDP growth this year. That's up from its previous forecast, although most of that will come from government spending and investment. And in the United States, a leading indicator of economic activity is up for the second month running and was better than many forecast. Also, the Philadelphia Fed came out with a survey of economic production, which was better than expected. So the Dow is up about percent in, one, in late trade. And that means the New Zealand dollar is up too, because people are more comfortable about taking on risk globally, and the New Zealand dollar is one of those riskier currencies. So it's up to 63.9 US cents and actually was over 64 cents last night. Meanwhile, back in New Zealand, ING fronted up to hundreds of angry investors in Auckland yesterday. They were asking questions about the two frozen funds and the deal they've been offered by ING and ANZ. Meanwhile, the Securities Commission has given the deal the green light, saying that it doesn't mislead investors and investors need to make up their own mind about the deal. And finally, Westpac has forecast that swine flu, if it's severe, could take 1-2% to of GDP and extend the recession because people either don't come to work or don't go to the shopping malls to spend and of course we get fewer tourists. I'm Bernard Hickey, that was 90 at 9, brought to you in association with ASB.